Avengers number 17 was published few days ago with the War of the Vampires reaching its final chapter. We last saw how Ghost Rider became possessed by the Shadow Colonel and his Legion of the Undying and was forced to fight his fellow Avengers. The spell was broken when Blade bit Rider and sucked what he called the sickness in his blood. We also saw how the possessed Robbie Reyes saw a vision where he met Johnny Blaze in Hell. Avengers number 17 opens in Dracula's prison in Russia, where the Lord of the Vampires was interrogated by the mysterious Red Widow who wanted answers. Dracula was forced to tell her all his dark secrets for the last 500 years after she slaughtered the vampires she had in custody to force him to speak. Dracula then was transferred to Ukraine, to the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone, where he was going to spend his house arrest after he lost his past glory and kingdom. Back to Russia, the prisoners in Dracula's former prison, who were attacked by the Legion of the Undying in the last issue, were turned into vampires and broke out attacking everything in their way. The Avengers arrived shortly after and attacked the vampires. At the same time, the Legion of the Undying made their move and broke into the prison and took down the Winter Guard, except for the Red Widow, who said that she was out of their league. The Avengers broke into the place too and attacked the Shadow Colonel and his Legion. The battle took pages with Sarge, the Shadow Colonel's dog, attacking She-Hulk. But Thori intervened and attacked Sarge. The final confrontation between Blade and the Shadow Colonel is the most important among these minor fights, where Blade managed to destroy the Colonel's weapon before he was blasted. The Colonel then pierced Blade's hand with the Boy Thing's wooden stakes, but that wasn't enough to stop Blade who managed to amputate the Colonel's foot, who retaliated and blasted Blade again. But this time, Blade managed to grab the boy thing who was spending all his time on the colonel's shoulder, and used it as a weapon to amputate the colonel's arm too. But the durable vampire didn't stop, and said that he only needs one arm to kill Blade, with his ability of controlling his amputated arm from afar. At that moment, Ghost Rider intervened and took down the colonel with a single punch, destroying his mask, and that was for possessing him and forcing him to fight the Avengers. Blade then beheaded the colonel with the boy thing's wooden stakes. She-Hulk, who was fighting the Rat Bomber, lost her control over her power and started discharging gamma energy before she exploded, causing a great gamma explosion. Captain Marvel reported that She-Hulk transformed back to Jennifer, but she was okay. The Legion of the Undying managed to escape, except for Sarge, who was defeated by Thori. Later on, we see the Legion of the Undying returning to the battlefield where the Shadow Colonel's body was left. It was revealed that Dracula planned all this from the very beginning to rebuild a new kingdom for himself and his vampires. He picked up the colonel's head, whose real name is Ixeros, telling him that he did his job before throwing the head away. They all did their job perfectly, and now they are free to rebuild a stronger kingdom. So Dracula planned to destroy his own kingdom in Transylvania and to wipe out all his vampires by using the Legion of the Undying to fulfill this mission. Then he went to Russia pretending that he was seeking asylum, while the real goal was to find a new place for his newly born kingdom. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Thanks for watching, and have a nice one.